Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm gonna create star, uh, lighting star. Uh, I've got here those fairy lights uh, and uh, I already prepared two of my stars. What I did, I print out on A4 size paper half of the star, then I took two large uh, cardboard boxes and I placed the star, that half, on that cardboard box and I traced the half, then I flip it over and trace the other side and then I took my ruler this is a ruler from EK, EK tools EK success tools and it's wonderful because it has I hope you will see that it has uh, lines inside so I place that ruler on my shape of that star which I draw I place it with this line here this line here on the line I draw and then I draw another line around my small star. Then I cut it off. <clears throat> I cut two of them. And I took my crocodile and I punched those holes. Uh, I've got a hundred stars. So it was uh, five holes on the line on each of those inside. And then I just draw those uh, those dots around. Sometimes between those two points here, I draw one point here. And again, between those two points here, I draw point here. And then I punch it with that three sixteen of inch. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do now? Uh, one of these stars will be back uh, back side. This will be on the top, and I'm gonna decorate it and then put inside those stars and glue those two together. For back side of this, I choose one of those wallpaper, wallpaper uh, samples. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glue all this on my wallpaper. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut that wallpaper about three quarter of inch around that star. take the other one with dots and I've got here this metallic uh, metallic tape so I'm gonna cut some strips and I will glue them on on the star
I would normally use this tool. This is tool for making nails and it's brilliant for hand embossing. But I recently bought in our uh, local shop the, these tools. They are for making cakes, for uh, molding uh, on cakes. And I think I can actually use some of them uh, here to make... Yeah, I think this one will be perfect because it's not too big. And it's soft, so I will don't make uh, holes through. And everywhere where I do have the layers of the ending of those tapes, uh, I'm gonna kind of make a hole. Not holes, here I made a hole. I will try to make just points using these two. Ah, yeah, maybe I have to be a little bit more softer. And just, yeah, because it's cardboard underneath, I have to be ah, soft. Ah, <laughs> that will be interesting. But everywhere where I do have the sides, similar this I'm gonna try to make just the dots <laughs> with this tool, and also from the other side. That will be this one. This is too big. slide that metallic tape inside like this so I did all that uh, dipping and <laughs> pointing I used some of these tools to make also lines and uh, now before I will continue to do something on this star uh, I'm gonna use black acrylic paint and I'm gonna prepare a few Right. And cloth to be prepared. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint this star black. I will especially go to those holes. And then I'm gonna wipe a little bit of that black here and there.
So after a few hours of drying, the star looks like this. Uh, it's pretty much perfect. Uh, I had to poke those holes again because uh, some of that uh, Mod Podge just soaked inside, so they was glued. You can see that right here. I need to pull this one again. This one I forgot, so I went this with this tool through and poke that hole again. But I don't mind at all because means it will be a little bit stronger when it's there more poch so now before I will put the lights I wanna fix this so I'm gonna add a little bit of uhu glue on the back side of this paper clip here on that handle And I forgot to try this one. Oh, it's pretty much just accurate. That's good. So I'm gonna place it over that hole here. Like this. And I'm gonna put that screw inside. I think... This will be probably the most hard job. <laughs> like this, I'm gonna place it on the right spot. And I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue from this side, here and here. First I need to... Yeah, I think this way. So I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue here. To seal it together and here like this and from opposite side I'm gonna put hot glue around the screw quite a lot of glue I'm gonna kind of seal it so that screw shouldn't move and I'm gonna let it dry. So it's kinda dry. And I'm gonna take that uhu glue again. I'm gonna put uhu glue around this acetate piece and place it on position I want there so now I'm gonna slide it under that paper clip I will try to keep it you know, on both sides similar and here to have nice space for the lights as well so I guess this way it should be okay to make sure that this acetate piece will don't fall out. So I'm gonna take my poking tool and I'm gonna poke the holes in the corners of this acetate piece. And I'm gonna fix it with those paper fasteners. Like this. I'm gonna do all four corners the same way. So I do have fixed this and I'm gonna take now my light. So I'm gonna start from here from the bottom. Which one? I, yeah, from here, from the bottom. And I'm gonna put those stars through. So I secured all of them with a little bit of hot glue. Uh, now from that other side, here and there I've got a little bit 
uh, around those bulbs uh, of that Mod Podge, like here. So I need to take it off. So I'm gonna spend some time to clean those bits and pieces. Kind of pull it out where I will see that and I will a little bit repair these holes to make it pretty. All I, I will do with tweezers because they are really good tool for that. So first I'm gonna build that middle part or middle uh, of that star. So I do have that pile of cardstock. I know it's not aesthetic, but it will be inside. No one will see that, so I don't mind. Now I need to measure uh, how big sides I need to cut, how big cardstock I need to cut. So I'm gonna take a piece of paper, place it on my table, and I'm gonna draw the line. Where is this side ending? And I'm gonna measure it. So I need five centimeters, two inches, two inches uh, strips, which I will use for building those sides. So I did cut ten pieces of black cardstock. They are longer than those sides, but uh, I need to create, you know, strong sides. And I'm not sure if all sides are similar, <laughs> so I'm gonna make it uh, using 10 cards. I cut those 10 cards 2 inches and I'm gonna put that uh, hot glue on the bottom part of that star. It's that which I covered to, to wallpaper sample. Place there the cardstock. Then I will put a hot glue here and make sure that all sides will get nicely glued together. So I do have nearly all sides done here and there. I need a little bit repair my gluing. make it kind of nice and here uh, I've got those uh, those wires so I'm gonna do this one I'm gonna punch the circle and then fold it half glue that folded piece And now I can glue it here, so I don't need that long, because here I do have a uh, carton or cardstock, so I'm gonna glue this here and to make space for those wires, for that cable. Before I will do that, uh, I'm gonna wrap this one to metal metal tape. I'm gonna fold this here and try to punch that circle again. A little bit smaller, like this. And now I can glue it here and continue with that uh, metal tape all around. So I'm gonna place the hot glue here on the bottom. And 
I'm gonna put that hot glue here on the end of the cardstock and also on the top. And I can start to wrap it all over with that metal tape. So I do have all sides and I'm gonna take the tape and I think I'm gonna cut pieces which are kind of similar with my sides with those sides yeah a little bit longer I will try to match this top one here I'm gonna cut the tape and fold it over and I'm gonna fold this over first I'm gonna cut the tape so this will be good that way and here I'm gonna fold the tape around the edge and I'm gonna do that same on all five of uh, tops of, of that of that star so I do have all sides done with that silver metallic tape and as on the front side I'm gonna use black acrylic paint, that bronze and a little bit of rust and I'm gonna do same with those sides and then I will show you that final result. So this is my shining star, uh, it's kind of metal metallic around as well and it looks like this. From the top, it can be uh, glued, uh, glued. <laughs> like it can be fixed uh, on the wall or, or it can stand itself like this. And it's like memo pad, so I can clip there some notes or I can clip there some photography. Oh, and I love it. I really love it. So I'm so glad I made it. So this is my project for today. I hope you did enjoy it. Have a wonderful day. Take care about yourself and see you next time. Bye.